Welcome to my top five horror game list. My name is Intalius and you're watching Intalius Gaming. This is by no means an official top five, but merely my own personal opinion. Feel free to list your favorite games in the comment section below. With that said, here are my top five horror games to play on PC. At number five, we have Outlast 2. As a trial and error stealth game, Outlast 2 might not be for everyone, but thematically, it's among the more interesting games on this list. Playing as a journalist searching for a missing woman in Arizona, your wife is then kidnapped early on by a deranged cult. The origins of the cult are only told through snippets of letters during the game. You navigate dark environments using only a night vision camera mode, and it's really, really, really scary. You have a whole village wanting you dead and some of the most grueling imagery ever put into a video game. I highly recommend it. Try it out. On to number four. At number four, we have Man of Medan. Man of Medan, like most horror movies, is his best experience with your friends. So in this game particularly, you control a group of friends stuck in a ghost ship. You explore and make split second decisions that may very well end in your demise. It's a tricky ship where you can't really trust your eyes or your co-partner and friends who might be seeing something entirely different than you. It's a type of B-movie fair, but the jump scares are top quality and you'll be paranoid wrecked by the end of this game. With that said, let's just jump right into number three on the list. At number three, we have Infliction. Infliction is a interactive nightmare, a horrific exploration of the darkness that can lurk within the most normal looking suburban homes. You wander through the remnants of a once happy family, reading letters and journals, listening to voicemails and piecing together clues to understand the terrible events that led you here. However, you are not alone. Something else has remained in this house in which you are exploring. It's sort of a being of infinite grief and rage. And while you hunt for clues, it hunts for you. It's got thrills, it got chills, it got jump scares. This is a highly recommended game. With that said, on to number two. At number two, we have Visage. Now, Visage is still in early access and for good reason. Inventory management is rough, some of the tutorial text has typos, and there are plenty of rooms gated off at the moment inside the house. But if you like slow burn horror, Visage is shaping up to be the greatest one. You're trapped in a house that just keeps on going and going and going. A uh, never ending space with creatures in the walls and a slew of reliable light bulbs. Visage also adapts the sanity mechanic from Amnesia eternal darkness, which means if you stay in the darkness for too long, well, don't stay in the darkness for too long. That's all I can say. It is one of the most frightening games I personally have ever played. It is very, very recommended. Now with that said, moving on to number one. And at number one, we have Resident Evil 3, the remake. Following up on the huge success of Resident Evil 7 and its remake of Resident Evil 2, Capcom remade Resident Evil 3 and completely nailed it. With its fast-paced action, excellent graphics, and of course the terrifying zombies, the Resident Evil 3 remake is one of the best horror games on the market and you absolutely shouldn't miss out. Resident Evil 3 is a testament to the fact that a good horror game needs to be more than just scary. And with that, we conclude our top five list. Now, this list was made by me, but it was made for you. But I want to know what you think. What is your top five scary horror game? Was any of your games listed in my top five? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like subscribe and hit that bell notification and check out all my other content. Have a great day.